All right, I'm gonna attempt the impossible today and try to film a video here. Welcome to Monroe City, Missouri. Tucked away in the northeast corner of Missouri, you have one of the most inexpensive, low budget, just definitely needs to be upgraded and maintained skate parks that probably I've ever been to, like in my life. I mean, I've seen some pretty bad skate parks on the internet, but personally going to them, this one is pretty much at the top of the list. You can just tell by like the material that was used on most of the ramps and just like the wear and tear that it has and doesn't have at the same time that this place really doesn't get skated all too much. The bottoms of the ramps, as you can see, the lips kind of stick up at each one of the ramps. But at least the ground here is really smooth, so that's a plus. it is very very hot here today so this park even though it's like not the biggest and it's definitely out of date it needs to be maintained it needs to be updated you could still have some fun here if you have a bit of skill on a skateboard you can kind of like use your creativity to put lines together and make tricks make something out of nothing like if you're a beginner trying to learn how to skate here i could see how that would be really really hard and discouraging after a while like these are kind of hard to skate on even for like an advanced skater so i get that these banks on this pyramid are basically wallies. So that thing's kind of like X and A on the bump to bar. All right, I just gotta get out of the sun. It is really, really hot outside today. So if you guys watch my channel, you know that when I come here, I stay in Hannibal. And within Hannibal, within 30 minutes of there, that skate park in Monroe is the only other skate park that I can go to. It's the only other skate park that exists. And yes, there is a skate park in Hannibal, but and it is a big butt. They wanna charge you money, or they don't want to. They do charge you money every time you walk in there, or you could buy an annual pass. Also, it doesn't matter how old you are. Even if you're 67 years old, you will have to wear a helmet. If you don't have a helmet, you can pay them a couple extra dollars and rent one. Now, I guess I don't really have a problem with like the amount of money that they're charging because it's only a few bucks, but here's my point. If you're a kid in Hannibal and you wanna go skate, you wanna go ride, you're gonna charge these kids money to enter a free out, outdoor public skate park. You're gonna charge them money, but these same kids can walk onto like a basketball court or a baseball field for free. It just doesn't make sense. And the whole helmet thing, like dude, Missouri is a state where you do not have to wear a helmet if you are riding a motorcycle on a highway going 80 miles an hour. So I don't wanna hear it that like you're gonna make someone who's over 18 wear a helmet. That's just absolute BS and it's ridiculous. And I'm too old for that. So usually if I wanna stay local and not drive an hour and a half to Columbia, which is what I usually do, I'll just go to that skate park in Monroe. And yeah, obviously that one's like not the best skate park, but again, at least the ground is smooth. 
it is completely outdated and the ramps they need to be repaired like it hasn't been maintained in years it probably hasn't even been skated in years because when i first got there there were like little rocks and pebbles like all over the entire thing and i actually had to leaf blow the whole skate park before i skated and obviously like that town of monroe it's a, a place with like a population of less than 2500 people so skateboarding's not very popular there but for some pretty obvious reasons. Like even if you are a kid that wants to start skating or learn how to ride, you have absolutely nowhere to learn how to do that. Like even at that skate park, an intermediate or a more advanced skater is going to find that park challenging and even somewhat dangerous. Like the lips that stick up at the bottom of the ramps, you feel that when you roll over it. So when you're a little kid just starting out learning how to ride, you're gonna hit that and you're just gonna fall forward and, and fall on your face. Like you're not gonna have fun learning at parks like that. So it's just like a shame because like kids here have zero access to a lot of extracurricular activities, like skateboarding just being one of those uh, activities that they like don't have any access to. Or if you really want to gain access to it, your other option is you're driving an hour and a half to two hours away to ride or skate any park that is like halfway decent. But again, a skate park is better than no skate park. And I always have to like remind myself, regardless of like the janky outdated old setup, regardless of it being somewhat dangerous and sketchy to skate, at least the ground is good. And like I can make do there. So I'm going to be in Missouri for like a whole nother week, but after next week, Henry Viswa is flying into St. Louis. I'm going to meet him there and me and him, we're doing like a whole cross country skate trip together. So that's some content that you guys could look forward to. We're going to be hitting up Denver, Moab, Utah, Southern California, Tulsa, Indianapolis, and hopefully Pittsburgh before we get back to Jersey. I know I'm really stoked for it. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you made it to the end of this episode, I upload multiple times a week and get out there and go skate, yo. I'm sure it's a beautiful day out.